Open your phone. Oh my God, yes. I'll send him anything. Whoa, you look like you've done that before, the way you just <laughs> looked it out, just Plurp. threw the V-neck. He went, bloop. Okay. That's very unattractive close-up. Oh my God! Know. If he thinks I have hairy nipples, I'm gonna <laughs> love it. Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, today is another day where we're gonna talk about some crazy deaths. But before we get into that, I just wanna give a really quick shout out to myself. So my new book, It Gets Worse, which I've talked about before, is coming out July 19th, which is really, really fucking soon. And it is available for pre-order right now at itgetsworsebook.com. I will put the links in the description. It would mean so, so much to me if you guys got this book. I worked so incredibly hard on it to make it funnier than the first one and more in-depth and more personal. I wrote every fucking word myself. I talk about stuff I've never talked about in any of my videos. And it's also just really fucking funny and I'm proud of it and I think you guys are gonna fucking love it. So please go get the book right now. And also from July 19th to July 30th, I will be on the road meeting you guys. So if you wanna meet me in person, I will put the link down there to check out my tour and where I'm gonna be. It is facebook.com slash shanedawsonfans slash events. Okay, let's get into the video. So last time we did a video like this, we were talking about deaths that took place at Disneyland. And those deaths were pretty gruesome and really disturbing, but today, it's gonna get worse. Oh, <laughs> that's awful, oh, but you know, it gets worse. Okay, I'm kidding. And again, I'm gonna say, please, no disrespect to the families of the people who died. I just find it really interesting, and I like gross, crazy shit, and hopefully you do too. So today, we're gonna be talking about accidents that occurred at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Now, Six Flags is known for having the most intense roller coasters, basically, in the world. I think they have over 20 in each theme park, and they're fucking crazy. I mean, they have loops, they have sharp turns. On some of them, you're standing while you're going on it. They have rides with fire. It's just the most intense rides there are. But because of that, Sometimes they have accidents. And today I'm not even gonna talk about all the times that people get stuck on the roller coasters while they're upside down. That shit happens all the time. And sometimes they're hanging there for hours, all the blood rushing to their head in 100 degree weather. It literally makes me sick just thinking about it. Now the first death we're gonna talk about is the Texas Giant. Now the Texas Giant is a roller coaster that's pretty intense. And on 2013, it had an accident that ended in death. A woman named Rosa Gowana was ejected from the ride and fell 75 feet to her death. Rosa was sitting in the third row back and the lap bar didn't completely close. And when the roller coaster went down the first big hill, she flew out. She fell from 75 feet, which is higher than a seven story building. And she landed on a metal support beam. Here's some news footage from that day. She goes up like this, and then when it drops to come down, that's when it released, and she just tumbles. Carmen Brown was next in line to ride the Texas Giant when she watched a woman tumble to her death. It was 645 Friday night. Brown says the woman got on the roller coaster with her son, and then on one of the sharp twists and steep drops along the Giant's 152-foot tall path, the woman fell. Now this story really upsets me because I once was on a roller coaster where I didn't fit. Luckily they made me get off of it and I was really mad at the time because I was like, fuck you guys, you could have just forced it down or I could have just held on really tight. It's so embarrassing to get kicked off a roller coaster, but thank God they did. I just can't imagine being on that car with her and seeing that. That would be really fucked up. Speaking of fucked up, our next accident is not a death, but it is gross. And that is the Superman ride that malfunctioned and took a little girl's legs with it. The ride is Superman Tower of Power, and it is a free falling ride. So basically you go in this car, you go all the way up, and then it lets you go and you fall all the way down. It drops you from 154 feet up in the sky at a rate of 54 miles per hour. Well, one day in Kentucky, the ride malfunctioned. As the ride was falling, one of the cables snapped, whipped around the ride, and struck a girl's legs. Here's a quote from somebody that was there. I saw the car go up, then the cable broke. I heard a loud pshh, and then I heard a lot of people screaming. When I looked, the girl was just sitting there, and she didn't have any legs. She was just there, calm, probably in shock. I can't even imagine that. You're literally sitting there, you turn, and the person on the ride next to you is missing their fucking legs. Now there's no footage of this specific event happening, but there is a lot of footage of rides like this malfunctioning, and it is fucking terrifying. Take a look. An amusement park ride has broken down, and terrified passengers are stranded 80 feet up. After two long hours, firemen finally reach the riders. They tell them they'll be down soon. Unfortunately, it's sooner than they think. If that's not enough to make you never ever want to ride a ride like this again, I don't know what is. But this girl's not the only one that lost her legs at Six Flags. This next story is even worse. In 1978, there was an incident on the ride called the Eagle's Flight. 
So the Eagle's flight was a gondola that took you through the park up in the air. Kind of like a ski lift, but it was enclosed. Well, one day a pair of newlyweds were inside of the car and they were rocking it back and forth, you know, just having a good time. Unfortunately, while they were rocking it back and forth, the car snapped off the wire and fell to the ground. The husband was killed instantly and the wife lost her legs. Some people even think that specific theme park is haunted by him. I don't know. All I know is I will never go to Six Flags on my honeymoon, just out of superstition. Now the next step is probably the most gruesome and also the most sad, and that was when somebody got decapitated on Batman the Ride. So Batman the Ride is actually my favorite ride at Six Flags. I know I'm talking about all these deaths and it's scary and this and that, I really love Six Flags. And I used to go a lot. Probably not as much anymore after reading all of this, but I'll still probably go back. And Batman is my favorite. It is fast, but it's not too fast. You're sitting, but your legs are flying through the air. It's just a really good ride. Well, in June of 2008, a teenager lost his hat inside of the ride, so he climbed over the fence to get it. When he was trying to look for it, the ride came and struck him in the head and took it clean off. The police report said that the ride was going full speed when it struck him, and that was 50 miles an hour. Luckily, nobody was actually riding the ride when this happened. They were just testing it out, but it was still insanely fucked up. And the kid was with his friend, and his friend survived, and he saw the whole thing. So that story, just even more so, is a warning for you guys. If you are at a theme park, please do not do anything stupid. Please do not climb any gates. Please do not do anything without asking somebody, because unfortunately, a little mistake like that could end. Well, there you guys go. That was me talking about some of the craziest events and accidents that have happened at Six Flags. And once again, no disrespect to the family members who lost somebody. I just enjoy talking about this dark stuff and I don't want to offend you. And if you guys enjoy me talking about this kind of dark, fucked up stuff, let me know down in the comments and give me a thumbs up so I know. Also, make sure to subscribe down there because I make new videos every single day. And if you want to see more videos of me talking about death or conspiracy theories or scary shit like that, I'll put a link to a playlist right below. All right, you guys, I'm going to go. And if you go to a theme park this weekend, I have had more cheesecake in my mouth than I have had lies. And I've had a lot of lies. Do I look fat in this? No, you do. Are you over me? No, I am. Sometimes I think about killing you. How come you don't call me back? Is it because you're so busy? Uh-huh. I'm watching Younger.